OK, uh, well, let's go to the phones and find out if the people at home agree with you. You might be surprised whether they, Dominic. A large number of people on the News of the World website seem to think that what Carol's done is absolutely fine. Kirsty. You'd be pleased to know we have Michael Carroll's manager, Sean, on the <laughs> oh, Sean, good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Matthew. Good morning. Well, congratulations. You've done a spectacular job managing uh, your client. <laughs> yeah, man managing Michael, managing his money are two different concepts, I'm right. afraid. Yeah. So how, <laughs> how have you managed Michael, then? Well, basically, um, I look after all his publicity. Um, I've uh, recently uh, started Michael um, into getting some parts in films, which... Um, he did some films last year. Um, Michael has only been signing on for about six or seven months now. And just, this is just, just six months, right. And simply a temporary measure because he's got no income in cash. Right. And whose fault is that? Uh, it's all Michael's. Michael has right. no... Um, uh, so do, do, no do, do you, you think that's accept Well, I'm sure I'm sure he hasn't got any ashes to grind. I'm the one with the with the ashes to grind. Okay, <laughs> I want to know why I am paying my tax to bail him out because he's had no responsibility with his own fortune. Well, yeah, I mean that's one way of looking at it, Matthew. But you also mm. have to remember that while Michael was spending his money, he was paying seventeen and a half percent VAT, which is oh. tax. Supporting on the crack, going Sean. Through. Sean, on the crack, he paid VAT on crack. He probably did. Yes, yeah. No, the, the, somewhere along the line, this government was probably getting something out of it. Somewhere along the line, right. that's, called, that's called living. That's the, we all pay those taxes. We all pay yeah, VAT. Yeah, yeah. We're all subject to that. So yeah, exactly. And, and we're all entitled to sign on when we're going through bad times. I mean, Michael's actually made contributions. Just remember that he was working before. He won the money. He was working, he was paying taxes and national yeah. insurance, and now he's falling on temporary hard times. He's, uh, he's signing on. I mean, he uh, has got some assets left. He's got an asset which is the, the famous house, the Grange. Yeah, which he smashed up, therefore devaluing it. Yeah, but he didn't smash it up. But what happened was Michael uh, let some people live in the house and they wrecked the house. And right. for, for various reasons, which I won't go into, uh, Michael couldn't live at the house. He's uh, about to sell the house um, now that he's got back talking with his ex-wife right. and he's going to put the money into a business to give him a... a new... Don't, 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 Clouse. please, Sean, don't if let him put any more money into any kind of if business. You're, if, you're managing, <laughs> if you're managing Michael, do you work for the Royal Bank of Scotland as well? <laughs> <laughs> no, what, no, Sean, Sean, before we let you go... I just manage Michael. Do, 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 do you get paid? Um, I, I, I get paid by the people that write the stories about him. Right, OK, OK. Well, have a great life. Thanks for the call, Sean. Let's have another, please. We have Lindsay on line three. Lindsay, good morning. Good morning. He's entitled to the dole because he used to work and pay tax. Oh, and he paid VAT. Oh, what do you do? Yeah, we all pay VAT. <laughs> yeah, so, it's just not on. It's not fair at all. He shouldn't be entitled to the dole at all. At the end of the day, I mean... There's people like myself, I'm a young woman with two young children, my partner, who was horrifically in a car crash eight, um, 17 years ago, and up until last year was working full-time in absolute agony until his doctor said he couldn't go on anymore. And um, we have to go through numerous checks every three months to make sure we're not benefit frauds. This guy wins £10 million on the lottery, decides to just throw it all down the toilet and comes back saying, please, sir, can I have more? What, what, what <laughs> if those, what, let's take Janet's point. What if he'd put all the money into a project or some humanitarian business that went down the swanny? Would we feel so, uh, so, uh... If he'd have done that, then that would have implied he would have been remotely intelligent and kept some for himself and lived off of the rest of it, but he didn't because he's spent it all doing things that we could all sit here and slag him off for all day long. Yeah. And the people that probably trashed his house were probably of his same kind, that's probably why they've trashed his house. Yeah. Because, once again, his intelligence has let him down and he probably gave it away to people that he shares those kind of hobbies with. OK, Lindsay, thank you. So well, we have Mick next on line one. Mick, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Matthew. Uh, do, would you give him the doll? No, I most certainly would not. You, you are giving him the doll, of course, because <laughs> we're all paying for it. No, yeah, exactly. I, I worked all my life, 28 years, and I find myself now between positions, and this myth that everyone is entitled to the doll it's not entirely true. I'm not entitled to a single penny. How come? I've worked since I was 16. How come? My crime was I served in the armed forces. And when you leave, you get a pension, which at mine equates to £9,000 a year, and this wonderful government expect me to live on that. Not a penny. Not a single cent. And this guy's blown £10 million, and he's entitled to it. I would give him a size 9 
<laughs> I mean, when you hear that, Janet, it's got a tug at the heartstrings, if of nothing it else, does. hasn't it? I mean, it how many and, other And Lindsay's soldiers? story too. But I don't think they cancel out what, what we're doing for this lad. I really don't. And I do think that, you know, there are but, certain things that we, we really object to, and other people's methods of spending their money is top of that list. We always hate it. We're always fascinated by it. And he obviously did not spend wisely, but... The powers of redemption must be allowed to, to come to the fore here, and that he, there is a possibility that he has learnt something. Yeah. And I hope that Sean he has to signed off the doll while he's collecting all the well, income yeah, from the, I hope the that, world. That Sean and other people around him are caring a little more about his welfare than just making money out of him now. Mm. You know that that would be a, a horrible end to this story. But it still doesn't so take away of, his of right. Dominic's comment right at the beginning, which was, you know, the doll isn't working, social security isn't working. And it can't be working if you've got an ex-serviceman like Mick, 28 years, I think you said, he'd served in the army, on a nine yeah. grand a year pension. That's a and huge And someone problem. like yes. Mickey Carroll getting kickbacks. It's a, it's so a the, the great problem is, though, too. Janet and Matthew, is that people feel very benevolent when they talk about the doll. It's not, we're never going to be on it because we're a different strata of society. You may as well accept that. But it isn't a kind thing to confine someone. There, there are generations of families who will never and have never worked. That's not a good place to be. And that's only available because that is this, this crazy system, this propping up. But I don't think it's a good thing for them. Their self-esteem is low and you blight their lives. So it isn't a good thing okay, to be okay. defending. Go on. Uh, Closed hold... all the workhouses, unfortunately. Well, yeah, but, you know, workhouses, they're in the beautiful buildings. <laughs> <laughs> Just a thought. Uh, Mick, thank you. Nice. Let's have another, please. We have Diane and she's online for... Uh, Diane, good morning. Good morning, Matthew. Uh, does he deserve the doll? Absolutely. Hello? Come on. Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. <laughs> yes, no, no, I, I totally agree with um, Janet. This, this... Go on, so why? What, 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 what guy, are your arguments? This guy, it's his money, you know, and... Um, and, and, the dole, money. and the dole is our money. Look, no, 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 not at all. Look at the bankers. You know, what Janet says, I don't have to even repeat it. The bankers, the um, MPs, expenses, and they still can go and get an, another job. They can go and... Um, other, um, what do you call these trust funds the and all these system. things? Diane, this chap can go get another job. Diane, Diane, I, do, I don't understand what your point is about the bankers. I, I know bankers that have been made redundant, OK, yeah. and they're not getting the doll because they have too much money. But they can. They have that right to go Well, on. they will only have that money when they have nothing left. Uh -huh. And at the moment, they're expected to live on what they've built and they have to plan and act responsibly and wisely yes. to stretch out the money they have for Absolutely. as long as possible. Well, I'd like to think a normal, decent, upright citizen should be able to make £10 million last more than eight years, and there should be some kind of penalty or revision of Social Security to ensure that when someone does have £10 million cash, yes. tax-free, that we as a society aren't allowed to bail them out eight years down the line. It's insane. It's yeah, I think... Listen no, no, for a minute, Matthew. That's just my point of view, OK? This guy should get advice. He should have been given advice. He was given advice. He should have been given advice. He was given advice. As a young person, at 29 with 10 million, would you not do a lot of crazy things too? Diane, I'd like to be given the opportunity to try. <laughs> Thank you for the call. We have to go to the break. Uh, he, you know, I know, because I know from the lottery people, that you win a bank, you yeah, win the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, uh, the biggie, you are given financial advice. If you choose to ignore it, I was going to say, on your head be it, but again, it comes back to it's on our heads. Dominic, I'll be goose-stepping right behind <laughs> <the> <laughs> <way>. <laughs> Maybe it's just a thing about getting older, I don't know. <laughs>